In this video we are going to explain how to install VGN software from the ASO file. First, the creation of a bootable USB. To create a bootable USB, you can use any tool. In this example we are using Rufus for Windows. It's very simple. In the device pull down menu you just select the USB uh, device that will be used as target. You also select uh, the ISO provided by Viquan and what is very important is that it has to be written in DD image mode. This is not the option that is selected by default but must be selected. You just press OK. It will warn you that any information in the target USB drive will be deleted. You say OK and it will delete all partitions, uh, write the image and by the end of this process you will have a bootable USB drive ready to continue with installation. Before installation, we need to check some of the BIOS settings. To check the BIOS settings, press Dell in this uh, particular model. In others, it might differ. And once you press Dell and you are in the BIOS setup, go to System Date to check the system date. You have to check the date that has to be the current date and also the system time, that must be UTC, the Coordinated Universal Time. Not the local time, but the UTC time. That is very important. And the boot mode has to be legacy. So, for example, in this uh, model, uh, there is a dual uh, boot mode that includes legacy, so in this case it's okay. In others, you will have to select the default option explicitly. Finally, we proceed with the installation of the Viquan software. To install Viquan software, enter the one-time boot menu, pressing F11 in this particular model. Select the USB drive, the Kingston Data Traveler, index example. And that will boot from the USB drive and start the installation. Press Enter to start the installation procedure. Select the hard drive. Notice that in this, in this example, the USB drive is listed the first one. This, in, this is incorrect. Use the arrow key to select the hard drive, normally SDA and a Linux system. Press OK. Press default with Enter. And again, Enter. Yes, with Enter. Now, to select the keyboard key map, use the arrow keys to select the desired key map. Use the space bar to select the key map and enter to OK. Enter the host name, between with one in this example. For the local time zone where the node will be deployed, use the arrow keys to go to the time zone and press the space bar to select it. Mexico City in this example, press enter, enter the root password, enter and enter the root password again. Enter to install the bootloader, say no, use the, your arrow key to select no, so we can configure, enter again to to enter the configuration. So now this is where we select the network management interface. Normally it's the first integrated one, EN001. It's not the first listed, so use the arrow key to select it there, press the space bar and enter. Here you specify the management IP address that you have reserved for the machine, in this case 101010020 .10 with uh, subnet mask 24. And also the default gate is important that is configured 10, 10, 10, 1 in this example. So the configuration has been successfully generated and you can reboot the system, say N, yes, and remove the installation media. More videos in our YouTube channel and website.